Welcome back to Call Dibs, everyone. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Eyes One because someone requested it in the comments, so I'll react to it because, you know, I watched Produce 48 all the way through and I love all of these girls so much. So, yeah, I've seen, I've seen all of their videos before already as a disclaimer, but I will just talk through like my thoughts on the song, you know, what I liked, what I maybe I didn't care for so much, but you know, someone wanted me to watch these, so I'll watch them. So yes, we will start off with their debut song, La Bien Rose, which, oh my gosh, I freaking love this song to this day still, like, I bop. Like, this came out at the perfect time when like, Girl Crush was like on the climb for popularity and this was kind of like a good mix for the transition of like cute to like Girl Crush. This was done at a perfect time. We're not gonna waste any more time guys, we're gonna get right into this. Eyes One, Lavi and Rose, let's go. Oh, I love this song so much. I'm very biased towards this song, so disclaimer. <laughs> I was just like so shook. I was like, they're really going like a more. I don't even know if you could call this R&B. Yeah, like R&B route. Yes, Queen Undi. I'm literally like watching 16 right now and uh, I'm just like a huge Cheon fan like Let's go I love this. It's so elegant. This is the perfect, perfect amount of cute, perfect amount, a little bit sexy, but not like too much to where it's like, oh, because they're all still so young, but like, and then this change up here, like, oh. And I love the Japanese girls in this group too. Like they're all just so cute and... <sighs> yeah, that song was just like the perfect blend of everything going on at the end of 2018. Like 2018 was like the year when like Girl Crush was like really starting to pick up. And they just knocked it out of the park. And like those people who still were into the super cute concepts and then everyone was just like 
bandwagoning on the girl crush or any of the new girl crush coming out around that time. This like bridged the gap between both of those demographics. And it was just perfect, you know? And I, like I said, I watched, I watched Produce 48 all the way through. As soon as those subs came out, I was, I was watching. Like, it was so good. I was like on my toes the whole time about what was gonna happen. I literally, from day one, I was like, if Chan doesn't make it, I'm quitting. Like, I'm quitting with all the like, the kind of the scandal, whatever, rigging, whatever was going on behind the scenes. Putting that aside, we're not talking about that in this video. I think everything worked out really well. And for this song, like, I was kind of worried, like, if everyone wasn't getting enough, good, wasn't, oh my god, I can't talk. I was worried that, like, everyone wouldn't be able to get enough lines or screen time, but they did a really good job of, like, distributing and balancing all of that across the board. This was awesome, and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. More videos coming to you very soon. I'm going to be doing also a reaction to Fiesta and Violetta, I think. I've seen all of them before, but yeah, I'm just gonna give my thoughts on them again. I already reacted to Story of the Swan, so you can go check that one out as well. Um, but yeah, I guess just let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if there's any other things you want me to react to, any other groups. Um, any sidetracks I should listen to because I would love to do a video of just me reacting to B sidetracks from artists Because sometimes those turn out to be a lot better than the singles, which is shocking But yeah, so all right. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video